students today we are going to see some more miscellaneous problem okay so first one is a man sold a chair and a table together for rupees 1520 okay so this is given total selling price of chair and table that is 1520 thereby making a profit of 25% on the chair and 10% on the table okay so this is first condition by selling them together for rupees 1535 he would have made a profit of 10% on the chair and 25% on the table so find the cost price of each okay so here i am supposing that cost price of chair is equal to x rupees cost price of table is equal to y rupees okay so if cost price of chair is x rupees and cost price of table is y rupees how we find selling price the selling price of chair in first condition what is given selling price of chair how we find this cost price plus profit okay so here it is given uh, thereby making a profit of 25% on the chair so profit is 25% so how we find this x that is the cost price plus 25% of x so this is a profit so cost price plus profit we will get selling price okay so this is profit 25% of x that is a profit so cost price plus profit we will get selling price so this is selling price of chair similarly selling price of table is equal to cost price of table is y so y plus now profit on table is 10% so this is 10% so we can write divided by 100 of y so this is for first condition now we have to write equation for first condition okay so what is given a man sold a chair and table together for rupees 1520 so addition of this selling price is equal to 1520 so x plus 25x upon 100 plus y plus 10y by 100 is equal to 1520 okay so if we solve this if you make same denominator so 100x plus 25x 125x plus 100y plus 10y that is 110y and denominator is 100 if we shift denominator here is equal to 1520 and this 20 of 100 okay so if we divide it by 5 this we have 5 25x then 22y is equal to 5 this are 15 then this is 0 5 fours are 20 and this two double zero okay so first equation we have 25x plus 22y is equal to 30400 okay similar this second equation by selling them together for rupees 1535 he would have made a profit of 10% on the chair okay so x plus 10x by 100 okay 10% on the chair and 25% on the table so y plus 25y by 100 is equal to total selling price is 1535 so if we simplify this 110x plus 125y is equal to 1535 okay so if we divide it by 5 again 22x plus 25y is equal to 53015 okay so this is equation number 2 now we have to solve this two equation okay so if this type of equation is there we have to add equation and subtract equation okay so first we have to add this two equation 
so if we add this adding 1 and 2 25x plus 22x 47x 22y plus 25y 47y and if we add this 4 plus 7 11 1 so this is 1 and 3 plus 3 and this is 6 ok so if we divide by 47 x plus y is equal to so if we divide this by 47 47 1s are 47 61 minus 47 4 14 remain so 141 47 3s are 47 3s are so here what is remain 14 ok 1 3 0 0 so this is equation number 3 then if we subtract 1 and 2 so subtracting 1 and 2 25x minus 22x 3x 22y minus 25y minus 3y and this is minus 30,400 minus 30,700 that is minus 300 so if we divide by 3, x minus y is equal to minus 100. This is equation number 4. Okay. Now if we solve equation 3 and 4. Okay, if we add 3 and 4. So adding 3 and 4. So y will be eliminated. So x plus x, 2x. And 1300 minus 100, 1200. So x is equal to 600. x is equal to 600 if we put any one equation. So if we put here, suppose, so from 3, x is equal to 600. So 600 plus y is equal to 1300. So y is equal to 700. Okay. So cost price of share root is 600 and cost price of table root is 700 ok understand this one now we will take second example second example is students of a class are made to stand in rows if one student is extra in a row there would be two rows less and if one student is less in a row there would be three rows more. Find the number of students in the class. Okay. So this type of examples we have to solve in this way. See here. I am supposing that let number of rows number of rows be x. Okay. And number of students in one row number of students in one row be y ok or we can write number of students in each row be y ok so see here suppose there are four rows these four rows and each row contains three students so this is first one second third then first second third Okay. So how we find total number of students? That is a 4 into 3. That is a 12. So similarly, total students is equal to. Okay. Now here I am supposing that number of rows is x and number of students in each row is y. So here total students how we find x into y. Okay. Similarly, like this way, if there are four rows. And each contain each row contain three students. So how we find total number of students? Four into three. So similarly, here total students is equal to x into y. Okay. Now this number is fixed. Okay. Now what is given? First condition: if one student is extra in a row. So suppose y plus one. Okay. 
one student is extra in a row so we are taking number of students in each row is y so if one student is extra in a row there would be two rows less so x minus 2 okay so number of rows is x if one student is extra in a row there would be two rows less so x minus 2 is equal to what we have said that is equal to x1 because we have to make arrangements okay but number of students is fixed okay so here is equal to we have to take x1 okay now y into if we simplify this y x minus 2y plus x minus 2 is equal to x1 so this will get cancelled we have equation x minus 2y minus 2 if we shift this side is equal to 2 equation 1 similarly according to second condition if one student is less in a row one student is less in a row okay there would be three rows more so x plus 3 is equal to number of students in class or total number of students okay now if we simplify this y x plus 3y minus x minus 3 is equal to x1 this will get cancelled so minus x plus 3y is equal to 3 this is equation 2 now if we add directly 1 and 2 x will eliminate okay so adding 1 and 2 so if we add 1 and 2 This x minus x will get cancelled. Three y minus two y that is a y, and three plus two is equal to five. Okay, so y is equal to five. Now, if we put y is equal to five in any one equation, so suppose I am putting in equation one. So x minus two y is equal to two. So x minus ten is equal to two. X is equal to twelve. Okay. So see here, number of rows that is x. So number of rows is twelve, and number of students in each row be y. That is a five. So here what we have to find? Find the number of students in the class. So total students in the class is x into y. So therefore, total students. In class is equal to five into twelve or twelve into five. That is a sixty. Okay. Many times in exam you are writing only x is equal to twelve, y is equal to five. But what they ask find the number of students in the class. So you have to write answer this way. That is the total students in class is equal to x into y. Five into twelve, sixty. Okay, understand this. Now we will take third example. Third example is eight men and twelve boys can finish a piece of work in ten days, while six men and eight boys can finish it in fourteen days. Find the time taken by one man alone and that and that by one boy alone to finish the work. Okay. So here I am supposing that let one man finish work, finish work in X days. Okay. One man alone finish work in X days, and one boy finish work in. Y days, okay. So one man alone finish work in X days and one boy finish work in Y days, okay. So one man, one man's work in one day, that is, is equal to one by X, okay. Total, suppose this is. Any work, okay. So in X days, one man finish work in X days. So if we 
बी डिवाइडेड इन टू एक्स पार्ट देन वन डेज वर्क हाउ वी फाइंड दिस वन अपॉन एक्स टू डेज वर्क टू बाय एक्स ओके अंडरस्टैंड दिस सो टोटल वर्क इज एक्स बाय एक्स सो दैट इज वन ओके सो वी हैव टू डिवाइड इन एक्स पार्ट्स ओके दैट वर्क इफ वी डिवाइड इन एक्स पार्ट सो वन डेज वर्क इज वन बाय एक्स देन वन बॉयज वन वर्क इन वन डे दैट इज इक्वल टू वन बाय वन ओके सो वन डेज वर्क ऑफ वन मैन इज इक्वल टू वन बाय एक्स एंड वन डेज वर्क ऑफ वन बॉय इज इक्वल टू वन बाय वन ओके नाउ सी एल एयर एट मैन एंड ट्वेल्व बॉयज टूगेदर फिनिश वर्क इन टेन डेज ओके सो फॉर एट मैन सो एट मैन वन डेज वर्क इज इक्वल टू हाउ वी फाइंड दिस वन मैन वर्क इन वन डे वन बाय एक्स एट मैन वन डेज वर्क इज एट बाय एक्स ओके ओनली मल्टीप्लाई विथ एट सो वी विल गेट एट मैन वन डेज वर्क एंड ट्वेल्व बॉयज सो ट्वेल्व बॉयज वन डेज वर्क इज इक्वल टू सो वन बॉयज वर्क इन वन डे वन बाय वन सो ट्वेल्व बॉयज दैट इज ट्वेल्व बाय वन ओके नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू फर्स्ट कंडीशन नाउ सी एल दिस इज एट मैन वन डेज वर्क and this is 12 boys one day's work okay so together they finishing 10 days so i'm taking 8 by x plus 12 by y okay now see here this is 8 men one day's work this is 12 boys one day's work and together they finishing 10 days okay so here i'm taking 1 by 10 why because we are taking one day's work okay so total they are finishing in 10 days so if i am taking one day's work that is a 1 by 10 because this is one day's work of 8 men this is one day's work of 12 boys and they finish in 10 days so if we divide into 10 parts so one day's work is 1 by 10 okay so 8 by x plus 12 by y is equal to 1 by 10 don't take it only 10 take 1 by 10 okay so this is equation 1 similarly second equation why 6 men and 8 boys so 6 by x similarly we have to write so 6 by x plus 8 by y and together they finishing 14 days so one day's work is 1 by 14 okay this is equation number 2 okay now you can see here Directly you can make coefficient is same. So here 8 by x and 6 by x. So 8 and 6. What is the LCM? That is a 24. So if we multiply equation 1 by 3 and equation 2 by 4, we can eliminate x. Okay. So here I multiply equation 1. So multiply. Equation one by three and equation two by four. Okay, so if you multiply by three, twenty-four by x plus thirty-six by y is equal to three by ten. This is equation three. If you multiply equation two by four, so twenty-four by x. Plus 32 by y is equal to 4 by 40. This is equation 4. Now, if we subtract this two equation, so sign will be changed. This will get cancelled. 36 by y minus 32 by y is equal to 3 by 10 minus 4 by 40. Okay. Now see here. 
36 minus 32. They are already taken on this same. So 36 minus 32, that is a 4 by y is equal to. Here we have to make same denominator. So 3 by 10 minus 4 by 14. First you have to reduce this 2 by 7. Okay. So if you make same denominator, 7 3s are 21 minus 10 2s are 20 upon 70 is equal to 4 by y. So 1 by 70 is equal to 4 by y. So y is equal to 280. Okay. Understand this one. Now y is equal to 280. If we put in equation 1. So equation 1 is 8 by x plus 12 by 1 is equal to 1 by 10. So if you put y is equal to 280 here. 8 by x plus 12 by 280 is equal to 1 by 10. So 8 by x plus. If we reduce this by 4. 3 by 70 is equal to 1 by 10. So 8 by x is equal to 1 by 10 minus 3 by 70. Okay. If we simplify this. Make same denominator so multiply by 7 here. So 7 minus 3, 4 by 70 is equal to 8 by x. So if we simplify again, 4x is equal to 8 into 70. So x is equal to 4 to the 8 and 2 into 70 that is 140. So x is equal to 140. Okay. So x is equal to 140 and y is equal to 80 means 1 man so final answer we can write like this way one man alone finish work in 140 days and one boy alone finish work in 280 days Okay, understand this one. This example is important for the sake of example. Okay, so for more pra uh, practice or revision, you can solve the example in worksheet. Okay.